The overall goal of this phosphorothioate approach in RNA is to perform saturation mutagenesis in a single step. This method can help answer key questions in the molecular biology field, such as gene regulation. The main benefit of this technique is that in a single step, one can accomplish saturation mutagenesis of a protein binding site in RNA. A key step in this single-step saturation mutagenesis protocol is to dope the DNA template with non-wild-type nucleotides within the protein binding site. First, synthesize a T7 primer by chemical synthesis on a DNA synthesizer. Next, synthesize a doped oligonucleotide corresponding to the protein binding site. In this example, the underlined sequence contains the reverse complement of the Drosophila sex lethal protein binding site with each doping site represented by an X. Use a ratio of 90% wild-type nucleotide to 10% non-wild-type nucleotide for each site of doping. The sequence in green is complementary to the T7 primer sequence and is the T7 promoter for in vitro transcription. The next step in this protocol is the synthesis of separate RNAs with each phosphorothioate nucleotide followed by 5' end radio labeling of the RNA. Synthesize RNAs for each phosphorothioate in a 20 microliter transcription reaction. To each microcentrifuge tube, add the following T7 transcription buffer, 1 micromolar T7 oligonucleotide, 1 micromolar doped oligonucleotide, 10 millimolar DTT, 2 millimolar GTP.